The Mini Countryman is loved for its practicality, maximising interior space whilst retaining its Mini DNA thanks to its trademark short front and rear overhangs. The options on this popular vehicle are about to extend with the new Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid. We are proud to be adding the first ever plug-in hybrid model to the Mini range. The car has distinctive exterior design features, including exclusive interchange yellow colour contrasts and a unique interchange yellow S badge. The all-new Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid is something unique, and there's no mistaking it. The beauty of a plug-in hybrid? You can use it like any other variant thanks to its combustion engine, and it offers the economy of an electric motor when needed. But how do you know if you'll be able to make the most of this functionality? Do you store your car in a garage or within five meters of a secure power source? If you do, the car is being stored somewhere where it can be charged. Is there an external power source at your place of work? A charging solution at home and at work can allow for a pure electric commute, resulting in dramatically reduced fuel costs and less time spent at a petrol forecourt. How far is your daily commute? Urban commutes up to 26 miles with charging facilities at both ends make a pure electric commute possible, meaning zero emissions and no fuel consumption. This chart illustrates where the vehicle offers most benefit. Short commutes boast extremely low consumption and even longer trips make use of the highly efficient combustion engine, achieving up to 134.5 miles per gallon. Simply put, if your usage is short to mid-distance, the new Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid is a strong choice. With 224 horsepower, neither performance nor efficiency are compromised. A 0-62 time of 6.8 seconds truly justifies a Cooper S badge. The vehicle boasts an extremely high specification as standard, building on the already impressive standard specifications of the Mini Countryman range. The additions make this a truly premium offering. Notably, the home charging cable, which comes as standard. So you're going on a test drive. What are the pre-flight checks? Make sure the car is fully charged and fueled. The Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid has a high pressure fuel tank, as fuel isn't always being used. As a result, fuel vapors build up and need to be released into the engine before refueling. De-aeration of the fuel tank ensures the fuel flap can be safely opened. You will find the button for this on the driver's door. It takes anything from a few seconds to two minutes max, and progress is displayed on the instrument panel for your convenience. When the vehicle requires charging, you have two options. You can use the home charge cable included with the vehicle as long as you can reach a standard three-pin outlet. The cable is five meters long and takes about three and a half hours to fully charge the battery from empty. It's important that you don't use an extension lead to reach the vehicle. Once plugged in, the charging cable is securely locked into place and cannot be removed until unlocked. It's easy to tell when charging commences thanks to the illuminated corona ring, which lights up to indicate the charge state. White is ready to charge. Solid yellow indicates the car is waiting to charge at a set time. You can set a time via the central display to take advantage of off-peak energy costs. Charging ceases once the battery is full. Pulsing yellow means the car is actively charging. Green shows the car is fully charged. After around 20 seconds, the charging status ring will turn itself off. When you need to release the charge cable, press the unlock button on your key to stop the charge and safely unplug. There's a convenient storage solution for your home charge cable under the boot floor when you're done. A public charge cable is just as easy, and generally getting from 0% to 100% charge in two and a half hours due to the silver plated contacts. These are increasingly common, and most mini centers will have one on site for customers' convenience. Become a member of Charge Now by visiting chargenow.com to access over 5,000 public charge points across the UK. Once a Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid is fueled and charged, it's time to go. The vehicle offers a variety of e-drive modes thanks to its dual drive train. Auto e-drive is a default setting for the Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid, and the electric and combustion engines work together as efficiently as possible. 
Because the engines are independently powering the front and rear wheels, all four all-wheel drive is possible, automatically stepping in whenever the road conditions demand it, without the need for a prop shaft. Auto e-drive is automatically selected when starting the vehicle, allowing for simple ease of driving, as the car does all the thinking for you. If the battery is fully charged, Auto e-drive will start your journey using only the electric engine. Auto e-drive is useful for all journey types. When you want to switch to another e-drive mode, you simply hit the e-toggle. Max e-drive is the pure electric experience. Whisper quiet using zero fuel and offering impressive performance. Completely electric up to 77 miles per hour with a range of up to 26 miles. This would see a motorist through the typical daily commute without using any fuel. Finally, Save Battery Mode powers the Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid using only the combustion engine. This powers the front wheels while simultaneously charging the battery. Save Battery Mode is perfect for journeys towards urban environments, where the electric motor is most valuable, or on rural journeys where charging facilities may be harder to find. Remember, you can switch through these modes at any time using the e-toggle, so the power is always there when you need it. You can always see which axle is currently being powered by the energy flow display found under Technology in Action. The Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid doesn't rely entirely on the driver to select the right e-drive mode. The car will automatically switch to auto e-drive if road conditions demand, battery is running low, or the driver requires more power or rapid acceleration when kicking down the throttle. This makes sure there is always charge, power, and all four all-wheel drive ready when you need it. On top of the reduced running costs of the Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid, owners can take advantage of various government schemes designed to reward adopting plug-in hybrid technology. These include a government grant, tax savings, no congestion charges, and favorable corporate rates to name a few. The decision actually feels pretty straightforward, right? One common concern about plug-in hybrid technology? I've heard you lose a lot of interior space because of the battery. Not with the Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid. The battery and the electric motor are concealed under the rear seats and in the cavity beneath the boot floor. In real terms, the space above the boot floor remains unchanged. The new Mini Countryman plug-in hybrid is perfect for urban driving and short commutes and can adapt to long-range usage with no compromise between efficiency and performance. Combining the Mini driving experience with the flexibility of e-drive, the space of the Mini Countryman range and emission-free driving while still packing the punch of a Cooper S. This is a versatile, exciting new addition to the Mini family.